An easy to use notes app, which is also an excellent task manager? Please tell me more. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And today I am taking a look at TaskAid, a new way to organize, brainstorm, and get things done. And I've been very excited to take Taskade through a demonstration to give you a review because I've had a number of my colleagues within the productivity space say some very nice things about this application. Now, Taskade comes in a variety of different flavors. Of course, you can download it to your mobile device. You can download a standalone version to your Mac or Windows operating system, or you can include it as a browser extension. And in, ta in today's demonstration, I'm going to be taking a look at it through my Chrome browser extension. The reason being is that you have the choice to make every new tab a Taskade tab. And what that means is that your latest note or your latest workspace is only one click away. So let's jump into Taskade. And let me give you a bit of a lay of the land here. So here on the home screen, I've got a list of a number of different workspaces here on the left hand side. So you can have as many different workspaces as you like. And within those workspaces, here I have one titled New Project. You can have as many lists as you like. And I want to emphasize these are so much more than just lists or just a checklist. You can complete an entire project within the Taskade interface. So yes, it does have true folder systems. You can have workspaces for personal or professional or however you'd like to split out your lists. And then within those workspaces, you can have as many lists as you like. So let me click on an example here. I've got one titled Weekly Tasks. And I've just started to create a very simple checklist here. I've added a, a few things here within my workspace and I can just check things off as I go down this list. And look at that, it even brings up a, a nice handy completed percentage up above as I'm working through my checklist. But one of the great things about Task 8 is that you're not locked in to the type of list in which you've created. So for example, down below, I've added some text. Maybe I want a full paragraph or I want to add some notes below this checklist. Maybe I'd like some bullet points down below. It is so simple. All you need to do is select this drop down here and you can change your format. You want a bulleted list? You can do that. You want text? You want a checklist? You want to change what those radio buttons look like? You can do that here as well. So maybe I want to start a new checklist. This time I want some circular uh, checklist here. I can do that as well. Now the editing capabilities don't stop there. You can see at the top you can do um, true formatting, bold, italicize, etc. You can even change the color. So if my cursor is right here and I'd like to highlight highlight that, I can just select this color and it automatically highlights the text there. Now I'm going to show you some even further editing options, but before I do, I want to point out this window or this area on the right hand side of the screen because this is maybe one of the biggest bonuses of using TaskAid. They have a chat window built right into the interface so I can have a real-time discussion with other members or other people about this list, about these meeting notes, about this project, whatever I have going on over here. But they've gone even one step further than just having a text message communication system. They've recently added both voice chat and video chat. So with just a single click, I can bring up my video and have a live meeting, there I am, have a live collaboration discussion with other members of my team, built right into the interface. Let me hang that up and I'm going to go back to the home screen here. And I'm going to click on example lists. So now when you first sign up for TaskAid, it's going to give you this example list workspace. And of course, they do a really good job of showing off the different types 
of lists, everything from meetings to project roadmaps to bullet journaling or, or weekly tasks, the things that you can do within Taskade. But let me click on this first one, which I think is an excellent example of all the different formatting and the ways you can create information within Taskade. So whether it's a header at the top of the screen, whether it's the bulleted points, whether it's not only the checklist, but look at this, we can even have subtasks within that checklist. You want to add a due date? Well, you've got a due date beside almost anything here. Here I want to add a due date to next Friday. Boom, it's done. Now I've got my due date attached to this task. Uh, you can make mention of other members in whom you're collaborating with. You want to add tags? Yes, task eight has got tags as well. And of course, these links are all live. So if you're wanting to share things that are on YouTube or other parts of the web, you can do that as well. So you're not limited by just having a list which is solely checklists or solely text-based work. You can combine all of this information at the very same time. So TaskAid is 100% free. All of these features come built into the application. So I would encourage you to take TaskAid out for a test drive. Now, the question for today is this. Since we're talking about notes apps and since we're talking about task managers, I'd love to hear from you. What do you feel is the most important feature to have in a note app? And does Taskade have it? Chances are it probably does. I'd love to hear from you, so be sure to answer this question in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.